The bear, the bear paw in the oh, yeah. uh, one guy that I saw a video of. Okay. That's like a it's, real no kidding paw. His hand's in the air and it's got like all dots or they, I think they call him snowman even because it looks like snow falling. Okay, the short version of this video, this is the long version of the video, I'm going to show you how we actually got in here, which was quite an adventure in and of itself. Really cool. Under this area is all. This is where uh, the Lagomarasino petroglyphs are, you know, literally middle of nowhere. I'll go over that later on. But uh, to get here on this trip, on the long version of the video, you're going to see we tried to come in from uh, Virginia City. And uh, that didn't work. This was all flooded out. So we couldn't get in this way. So we then circled up around up through Lockwood and came in this way, came in through this way. And the way we came in was we went up uh, through, let's see here. We went up through, uh, right up through here. Actually, we went in through this way, um, somehow up through here, but you can just get in, you can just cut in up through here, go past the, uh, the dump here. And you just cruise up in through here and you just cruise this road all the way back in. Uh, up here, you'll see we, we, we tried to go this way, but this road is closed off around, uh, around here or something. But you can cruise down here and this is where we par ended up parking the car up around here. And then we walked in through here. This was all, it's rugged. You need four wheel, even on a good day, back in here. So you might want to hike in through this. Once you go down this hill here, it's a big hill. You're up higher up here. That's where we saw the horses up through here. You see that. Uh, when you cruise down here, it's, it's a little bit smaller road. Um, you, know, you want to probably just park it around here and just hike it in. Uh, we walked in. You can also walk up this way. We, we just went up this way, went up the hill. This might be a little bit easier, actually, this route. From here is where we saw the uh, um, the rock wall right here, which we'll talk about later in the video. And uh, we walked. Yeah, we walked here. A nice canyon here. You walk around that canyon. You go over the water. In the winter, at least, there's a lot of water there. And we walked up here, and this is where the backside of their wall is. And then, uh, or actually up, up through here, um, this is the ridge. And basically you walk down through here. It's a big stream in the winter. We circled up here and that we come into the site that way. So it was about, it's about an hour and hour and, you know, 20 minute hike, hour and a half hike with my 81 year old father. It was a little bit longer. Uh, he ended up going back because it was very muddy. We walked in very tiring and then, uh, yeah, so we'll go over and we'll show you the site from there. It's really, really cool. We have some other videos. We went over went into these sites here. We saw the rock chimney and we saw the old stone house ruins and we had a really cool um, old Indian site up in here. I'll leave a link down below. This is a, there's a mound back here and everything, old Indian mound, old structures, the whole nine yards. I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. All right, take it. Right here. There it is. Wow. So there's Lowe's Look Town. Look how good that road is. We could have just been on that road. Yeah, this road was great, Dad. And this is the main road in, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
have from 12th, you know, somebody's got, you got your map? This gate right here. And now we're gonna head up, uh, head up this way. Mountain there. The hilltop. See him? Look at my finger. Okay, so you come in the main route here. That road up there is private eventually, so you gotta go down here and into the valley. And it's a little bit, it's March, it's been wet. So let's see, the, the walk from here is one hour. We're gonna try to drive in here. Yeah, this is a shorter distance, actually. This says 2.7 miles, nine miles, 2.9 miles. We had to stop here because uh, up ahead it gets uh, it gets bad. So we're gonna just you know leave it here. And that was one of the recommendations I read. When you come up over the hill, you drop here. down here. Here's a good spot to leave your car because that road up there is decent, especially in the summer for any kind of car. But this road is four wheel drive only. And uh, we have four wheel drive, but when there's a washout like you'll see and Mud, it's a different story. Yeah, washout, yeah. No, we're gonna see that. But wild deer tracks everywhere, amongst the wild Mustang tracks. All right, we're going in, right down in there. Well, just to show, you know, just to look here, see down there at that split, we're going, uh, we're going up to the right. Under the power lines there to the right. Yeah, I think it's that dark art, rock, rock uh, that outcropping of rock. That we and it's like, you know, it's a nice day. We're going to go for a walk. Yeah, it's very muddy. This way, Pat, up here. See, look, even there, Pat, boom. All of a sudden, you just sink in. Yeah. See the rock wall? The first hill, where, where do you go up? Is that steep? Well, we're going to go through this canyon, I think. We're going to go up. The, the site is not over there. It's over here. You see you see the rock wall from here, the ancient Indian rock wall they talk about. They think they use the wall to hunt, to corral the wild game, and to where they could, you know, get dinner. Pretty wild. I'm pretty sure that's it. Flies is straight ahead, two hills further. But you see here, we have to take a sharp left here, down here, and down into this canyon, and then walk back up, up through there somehow. So it's an interesting one. Yeah, so you see that rock wall right up there. You're not like this. It's pretty amazing. If you have any idea of nature. Yeah, it's beautiful, Dad. See it go down here. It's a pretty good hike, and for uh, 81, Dad's doing great. Yeah, I'm still alive. That too. <laughs> but we'll see if I'm alive getting back. Yeah. Well, it goes for all of us. All right. Well, here's a. Uh, Something or another didn't quite make it. That's amazing, the bones are either eaten or nowhere to be found. Womp. I mean, you sunk in, it sucked you in. In Nevada, we make good mud. But look at this, I think this guy got, I think this guy got literally stuck. 
I mean, this is unpassable unless you have a half a boat. Yeah, it looks like he uh, he backed out, did a three-point turn, and skid angled. It's a pity because it's the only area that's really unpassable. The rest are doable, hairy, but doable. So actually, you walk right in through here. The site's right up over yonder there. We're getting there. Yeah. Cross over here, go up there. Beautiful. Yeah, slow going there's a lot of wet areas muddy even for walking for driving as well so we're getting there to go down this uh, pretty cool rocks right here you gotta go down here drop down to the power lines and then a bang of left it looks like pretty beautiful nobody out here nobody Pretty big stream down there. It's uh, March. I mean, there's still a lot of snow. Had a lot of rain this winter, 2023. So it won't be that full every time. But I heard it runs uh, year-round, I believe. Which will be a welcome uh, thing, certainly in the summer. Signs of spring. Pretty steep little uh, descent here. A little bone right there. Well, going down here into the river, it's a major crossing right now because of the runoff. I'm gonna try to cross up here because we gotta get up over there. Ducks just show me where to cross, right there. Thank you, ducks. Sorry guys, we can go right back in a moment. This site doesn't get visited often, especially in the winter. Whew. few minutes now that's a nice sign looks like an eagle yeah huh maybe a hawk. yeah looks like an eagle or maybe I don't know a little one or a hawk yeah maybe see a bird up in the tree there yeah looks like there's a gate to get in this thing oh yeah yeah. 
Now we have a watch, uh, someone watching the gate for us here. This must be the entrance. Right here. Awesome. How long did it take us? Two hours? Two hours. We left the 210. What's that? We left the 210. 210? Okay. We, we took our time because of Fox. Yeah, yeah. You know? And where uh, John left off was at 345, and that's about half an hour ago. Yeah, I saw it getting real muddy back there. Major, major muddy. Just walking. <sighs> Pay that everything. Yeah. Okay. It's a sign right there. Old sign, free strain if you want to read it. Yeah, that said, as soon as you walk in, it's like, bam. And I said, oh, at least you get your money's worth for this, uh, for this hike. Drive and hike. What's that? You know, drive and hike. Oh yeah, right away some action, for sure. Uh, and then in the back there's stuff too. It looks like there's like an animal thing here, I don't know what it is, but some kind of a thing. Oh, there's like uh, all kind of stuff. I how they got in there. Scratch that. There's like crosses and there's like a cross up here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a circle and uh. I mean, what I like about this site is like right here, there's like a contextual, contextual like circle within a circle. Oh yeah, okay. Just small, they're like all over there's glyphs. Yeah. There's a guy over there. Let's see. A guy there. Circle there. Circle there. And you know, we're just at the entrance. There's a muskrat up there. Or, or some kind of otter or something. He, he just scrambled into the rocks. Let's go around the corner here, you think, or? Sure. You want to just take uh, yeah. You yeah. Know, or should we walk up here, like a little bit? Oh, you, want, you want to walk down? Okay, cool. Well, I don't know. We, we'll, we'll walk over there on our way out. I mean, there that's major stuff right there. Some stuff and here's like a and then up up here uh, let's see if you can see that in the view top viewfinder get a little bit of glare going on up and through there pretty wild Wild action. What I want to make note of is get me out of the way here. Uh, I guess I got to get out totally away. Google removed the the uh, compass from their from their maps. I I really don't know why. I guess it was security reasons, but you can figure it out because they still leave it facing true north. 
So the point is the site, which, you know, stretches from here, probably it stretches all along here, but from really from here, this is the entrance where we walked in, we saw that bird, you walk in and uh, all up here is the main, the main site. Here's like a lot of the good stuff up and through here, actually up and through here. We didn't get much further than through this part here, but that's all south facing, which is very interesting because it ties into the theory of the um, the aurora that was southern facing from the you know astronomical cosmic event, uh, you know theorized thousands of years ago, you know like a, an electric universe event where the the southern sky was just it was like a second sun basically, and they would use rocks, and that's why I would like to get up there and research more. They would actually draw what they saw, but they would use other rocks that were facing south to shade them from the from the uh, uh, the bright light. So you would you could find uh, some of those petroglyphs theoretically up and through here because this was certainly a hotbed of activity for rock art, which really is more than art; it's a communication. Now this man right here, Anthony Parat, per, uh, he's a doctor. He theorizes that there was a, a sort of plasma event in the southern sky it was uh, formed by this uh, aurora and it had different forms over hundreds of probably thousands of years so it was there and it was like it was like built up and then it was like at this at the pinnacle i think it was 64 or 58 points and then it diminished um and you know down to four so it went four eight sixteen thirty two it had like this this uh Anyway, he explains it great in this video here, and I'll put a link to it. It's very hard to uh, explain uh, exactly, but basically uh, he explains that the same exact petroglyphs or very, very, very similar are found at the same uh, longitude and lat you know in, in the in the long, uh, in the latitude area uh, in all different parts of the world thousands of years ago. So it's like that just can't be coincidence, you know. Very elaborate um, petroglyphs in some cases, as he shows in here. See the rock art locations. I mean, he did a very scientific approach to this, and this form was very unique and, and beautiful. It's like a second sun. So here you see, and this petroglyph you'll find all over the place. So very, very interesting. And just to show you, I mean, this site is out there in the boonies. I mean, there's nothing. We have some other videos on some other stuff we saw. So there's Reno. Uh, but very quickly, you're out here in the middle of nowhere, and we saw nobody else around here. Like a bunch of lines, one line with a whole bunch of lines coming off. Looks like a some kind of a, I don't know, movement of some sort. Where? Uh, right there. Oh. A lot of shit up there. And way up there is even more. Oh yeah, I think we gotta go up there. Come on. Well, uh, should we hit up that board first, or? Well, well I guess we we're kind of. We'll come down. Okay. Let's go up and come down. Okay. Because we got two, three, four, six, uh, seven circles. And what in the heck are they rep representing? Representing there. Constellations of some sort. Maybe Pilates. I don't know. Look at that one. There's that symbol. That one around the side. Yeah, the, the darker they are, the more ancient they are. Oh, it's, it's rugged. Yeah, this is uh, the mother load. This was like Gutenberg.org back in the day. Yeah. Where they, this is where they laid down all the information. Yeah, just pause it. If you see something interesting, let me know in the comments. I 
We only have a limited time. I gotta keep rolling. We have to keep rolling. His hands in the air and it's got like all dots or they, I think they call him snowman even because it looks like snow falling. There he is, hard to get these guys in view. Look at that one. with the squiggly lines under it like maybe representing uh, lightning from the heavens uh, northern lights northern lights maybe some May have six some have seven okay interesting on both sides uh, that looks like 18 on those squares when you go three times six across <coughs> this one this one here no on your right that one yeah two o'clock that looks like he uh, This is 10 right here. You know what I mean? Five and five. Five, five things. Yeah. Five and five. And uh, it looks like a ladder to Jacob's ladder. ladder again. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, he, he, he got the, the party down. He got, he got the big, uh, he got the big prize. It looks like he was the, the winner of something. Uh, I think, uh, you know, for me, it looks like he shot. Here's the ladder. A lot of deer or something like that. One, two, three. That shot, but you know. Well, it, I mean, it even looks kind of alien with his three with his three fingers. Let's well, yeah, let's face it. I mean, it could. No, and there's no real uh, feet per se. It's just two sticks. And the dots could it represent snow, like the snow falling, the snow on the. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, accumulating. I, I will definitely concur with that. Could be like a star thing, maybe. But yeah, let's see how many out there are. If I can count them. One. Look at that. It's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we'll just try Unbelievable, to, David. Try to walk along the wall here. Unbelievable. Yeah, you think, yeah. One, two, one, three. two three. That could be a mountain. I There's a lot of hills around here that look like that, oh, yeah, kind of. Like three mountains. This one is one, two, three, five, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. And then the squigglies. One, two, three. Six, seven. Seven sets of squigglies. Interesting. Wow, I'm not kidding. I mean. We got some some altitude here, you know. I mean, it was quite a hike, but you don't realize how high you get pretty relatively fast. Well, fast maybe is relative as well. There's more a line with squiggly lines under it. It was definitely something. Rock. Oh, the lines in the whole rock? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah, they took, they really, one, two, three, four, five. Rock. Oh, the lines in the whole rock? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah, they took, they really, one, two, three, four, five. The bear, the bear paw in the, oh, yeah. the one guy that I saw a video of. Okay. That's a real no kidding paw. I can see what he's saying. Lines. Yeah, that's, that's wild. I mean, they... Here's a five and five again with a box in it with a rectangle in the middle next to the bear paw. Yeah. Wait, wait a second. Do bears have six uh, digits? Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's a six digit something or another. Now, this is kind of interesting because this is a 2012 article. Uh, up in from Canada, and they basically found a uh, a six-toed 
or six clawed bear. Well, at least six toed. I don't know how many claws he had. You see here the the uh, the view of it. So that's what I don't like about all these research schools and all that. You have to like be part of the club to get their PDFs and their research. You got to pay money a lot of times or have a login from an, a you know accredited university or whatever. I mean, that's a little bit BS in my mind. You know, they should share this information for everybody. But anyway. One of the legends about the Giants was six digits. Anyway. Hey, cow. He's healthy walking around out here. I don't know, a horse. I think it's a cow. Okay. They're like that, oh. that cross with the two legs. All of them, all of them. Like that one there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how did they get on that? They, that one that's perched out. They really worked at it. I mean, really. Wigglies and dots. Yeah. It just, I, like, I guess it has something to do maybe with the river. Could be, yeah. Oh, I think I see something interesting, like a bird or, I think it's a bird. Look at that hatch, uh, cross hatch. That thing, oh, yeah. How they, wow. Here. Next to the yeah, uh, yeah, it looks like a thunderbird. Yeah, like a yeah, like an eagle thing. Yeah, that's a total bird. Fly check. Yeah. Pretty wild, huh? Totally wild. Oh, there's some more of the diamond shapes too, like over there at uh, yeah, uh, Winnemucca Lake, up above the. Uh, well, oh. yeah. But only they were a oh, little... very interesting while I'm recording. This is the rock wall where I walk across going back and we saw it from way back over here in the distance. We saw the rock wall. You know, we I think it was about here, right about here is where we make the video showing the rock wall. I'll cut that in here. And when we get close, when we were down in the site, and this is one big rock wall. It stretches all the way here. And look at that, it stretches all the way over here, theoretically, maybe. But at least this is definitely rock wall. You can see it in the video. And this is where we walked over the rock wall. And it's interesting, there's a little gap here for some reason. You'd think they would connect it if maybe this rock wall continues there. Up yeah. along the ridge here, you see the rock wall? Where? Uh, it oh, goes right, right up the mountain. Yeah. That's the ancient Indian. Uh, yeah. Rock wall. They theorized to. Uh, That's it. Yeah. You know, corral the game one way or another. Wow. Wow. Man, huh? Probably was a lot higher back in the day, you know. Yeah. This is like, <laughs> this is got, this is like one of the most intense. Wait till I tell Bill about this one. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, we got back here, you know. Yeah. See on top of the. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is that? I don't know. It's like a looks like a beaver, but what's a beaver doing up in the rocks? Anyway, thank you, God. That's pretty wild. Oh, man. I tell you, David. I don't know what that is. Beautiful though. He's just checking out the scenery there. I think that, uh, oh, boy, unbelievable. Skating injury and my, uh, going down to get my, my injury. We're, we're still we're walking. Able, we're able to do this. <laughs> no kidding. Thank you know God. What I mean? Thank God. That is a weird one, that Y one.
Pardon me? Yeah. Looks like a juggler. Uh, the pity is we got about 10 minutes we got to head back because it's a potentially a two hour walk out going going Maybe. uphill. I wonder if we we got this one, file juggler. Oh wow. I think I heard that one before. That's yes, a juggler. Forget you know. Okay. Well we got about ten minutes. We'll cruise along this rock wall this uh this wall here and then we'll have to head back down and head back out this way. Boy, the snow mountains back there. Beautiful. Take a couple picks. Here, let me take a pick. To... Well, the whole time that 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 critter's just you know watching us. Oh really? Yeah. I know. We're the first trip out. Yeah, and he's just totally like you know no problem with us. Okay. Oh yeah, good. Yeah, thanks. We left him a little food. It's real natural food. Yeah. Right. Slowly start walking again, boy. That was nice. Just kicking back for ten minutes there. I'll tell you. Oh, it really was. so much to see be great to camp out here and that's for sure here's a cool one is you got the squares with some um, rays on the bottom of it you know that's graffiti right there that's that's just BS you think oh yeah look at Tim and look how new it is it's, it's not even made well good. no I I mean that might be but this yeah but look how look how bad it is compared to this one <sighs> in terms of the quality of the engraving That critter's still up there, checking us out. Right, right to the left of the bush. Oh yeah, that's a great iPad, look at that. Let's see, where's, oh no, he's up there. There he is, yeah, look at that. There's a whole bunch of, they're really getting pretty artsy coming, coming to the right of that too. Another four-fingered, you know, it's like a big old frog. Yeah. And over here we got a bunch of stuff, yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of bunch of. Jive talking? Jive talking. There's so much stuff, man. Yeah, it's incredible. Not enough time tonight. The circles up there are wild. We gotta come up Her here. Dots. Uh... For a whole day. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta come up here. Well, a whole day, a whole weekend. Can't camp out. Yeah, yeah, when the weather's better. And, you know, this might sound a little oddball, but... I ain't sleeping out here tonight. Well, this is, we gotta, we gotta cruise out, but this site is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh yeah, I see it, let me check that out. Cool one. More squiggly lines with some, some arrows. So we gotta like go down here? I guess, yeah, go down however, however you can, just I think first a little bit forward, well, whatever, whatever you can. Let's just head down to that sign, basically, down there. And then we'll regroup. Okay, let me turn off my phone, David, so I have some juice. So sure. I have some juice. Absolutely incredible. That's a wild one, that. Ancient little hangout place. Four, uh, three, the old oh yeah, the whole full nine yards, huh? Yeah. The wiener and the uh Yeah, that's crazy. That's when I cracked in half.
Oh yeah, she was talking. Now the three-fingered, three-toed. Really interesting. Why would they do three fingers, three toes? I just don't get it. Well, look at all the action up there. I know. It's just so much stuff. I got, yeah, I got these here, but that one right there was in the video. That's for sure. Oh, yeah, the arrow's going down, yeah. I remember you even said it. Yeah. Because it's partly uh, basket weaving and arrows, arrows or something. Right. So much to look at and analyze here. It goes way up there, you know? Oh, yeah. So this is right down by the sign of the other entrance. From the Virginia City side, I mean, there's no city close to here. Virginia City is also just a little village, but uh, we have to head back now. It's about coming up on 5.30 and uh, pretty wild. Thank you, God. Oh, look at that one. Did you see that one, Pat? Where? It's like, um, one looks like a sperm, the other one looks like a dude with a, with a circle on his wiener. Oh, up there, yeah. Uh, Next to a yeah. leaf. That's uh, with a... Palm tree on the vine? Yeah. That is trip out. And then like a, a fern a on fern. the left? A fern. Yeah, they got broken off. Literally broken off, like, you know, cracked off. Oh my gosh, you stay here all day, huh? Oh man. Let me get a picture of that one and then. Eight, eight pieces. That's really for That's the Jesus wheel right there. That's it. That's a, that's the wheel. That's the Jesus wheel, 100%. That's it. Yeah. And that's a fitting way to end this journey, which, you know, we as uh, followers of Yeshua, Yeshua Jesus, Son of God, Amen. we thank him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right, take care. Okay. three or four fingers where, where where yeah i got that guy i got that guy and i forgot this one this is that's dna or something right there double helix and shit wow they were they were ahead of their time yeah and then there's another one over here well anyhow i think that oh okay holy crap there's just so much going on up in there and through there oh man david it's like Unbelievable. Now how we, oh boy. This is gonna be an experience, huh? How are we gonna do this? Well, go left first. Oh, wait a minute, no. Oh boy. I think we gotta go over these boulders and that's all we have to do. Well, we gotta be on this side of the river. Yeah. Oh no, no we don't. We don't. The other side, yeah. So we can go cross wherever we, wherever if we can. We, if, we, if, we, if we can, which we can't right now. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I'd rather not get too wet. No, oh boy, mud, lots of mud. Holy macaroonski. You gotta watch every step around here. Okay, David. Uh, yeah, this is, we're in some trouble. Oh, wow. wow. That went up, goes up over here. Yeah, you see it going up here by the wild. I mean, that took some work. Pretty wild. Beginning of the rock wall that goes up way up the other side. I mean, that took some serious work. Good job, guys. My goodness. I mean, animals could jump over that. These kind of, you know, it could have been like a defensive thing to you know, to protect, to protect this site. Because the animals could just jump over that thing. Well, it had to be a lot higher. I mean, those, those elk and, and stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, 
It's an immense wall. It took a lot of work. Ancient as it is. All right, we gotta kick ass here and get back. Well, it's gonna take a couple hours, but. And that's just back to the Jeep. Then we gotta drive out of the, the zone, as it were. This is dry. Oh, boy, wow. Pretty much amazing. Top, uh, well, top adventures. Man, I mean, in in several, several. Uh, oh, look at this side. Look at this side. Some old bob wire. A table and a bed. Or no, that's, bob wire. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and several aspects. I mean, we had to probe this place from three different directions. The first uh, time we did work. Look at this on the outside. Oh yeah. I didn't see that. You get a little, a little extra. A little extra action. Well, well I bet there's a lot of extra up in through there. Yeah, I think you're right. But we had we had, we tr we tried to walk in the first day. That that uh, didn't work out. We saw some cool stuff. An ancient uh, Indian mound of some sort and chimney. And chimney and old stone house. And then we, uh, this morning, we tried from the Virginia City side, but that was way too muddy. And now we tried again from this side, where we, we were the first time we got more intel from the locals. And you have to respect the site, you know. They keep it secret for a reason. There's, a, there's some graffiti up there, and that's just not, not cool. It's an ancient site, a sacred site, northern Payot, uh indigenous people, and we should really respect it like a thousand percent. But yeah, we got up here and it was an incredible journey. Dad didn't make it. I mean, he's back at the car. It got it got pretty heavy uh, through a lot of that mud. But uh, well worth it if you have a four by four or willing to hike quite a distance. There's, a oh, There's some yeah. rocks behind it. That's a pretty cool one too. It's like a little lookout center. It's just, it's, I think it's more of a jump than it looks like from here. Let me know. Might, be, but, uh, might not uh, be. I do know. Uh, we'll just keep walking. Oh, God, holy shit. That, that is a short one. Well, it's all, it's all, you know, relative. I mean, we don't want it to be like, you know, sh cut short. In other yeah, that part's unpassable right now. So we'll take a little shortcut. Starts there on the right, goes all the way across, down along under the power lines. Another Indian, uh, you know, uh, Paiute. Another rock wall, another ancient rock wall. And it, you know, leads right into their site, the backside of their site. So I wonder. And then you know, the other one was over there. What are you looking at? Falls in the mouth right there? Yeah. In some kind of a weird alien form. Yeah, I mean, form. they had some pretty funky uh, artwork, uh, rock art, you know? Yeah, yeah, so you can see the two eyes in the mouth. Oh, and yeah. The alien face kind of thing. Whoa, that's pretty trip out. You know what I mean? Yeah. On kind of green rockwood, huh? Yeah. Anyhow. Wow. Maybe we've been just hiking for too many hours. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun though. Man, yeah. oh. And this was a good little break. That's my interpretation. Uh, brother, look at that rock wall though. Yeah, total rock wall. Now, it, you know, animals could jump right over it. So what was the purpose of the rock wall? So slow them down. 
Maybe just enough to slow him down. I don't know. Interesting. Enough to slow them down, but enough that they could hide on one side and, and, and like all 20 of them or 50 of them jump up at once and grab, you know, start nailing them. So like a, a blind. So they could, just, they could just line up across the, uh, you know, the area and as the game came through, they had a good shot of getting them. Maybe. <laughs> and yeah, let them air out type of thing, you know. Here's a car in the distance. We're almost back. Woo wee. What a day. Holy ole. Just, uh, hey, tell them someone gave him some hay. Come and fed him. They feed him. Just like the guy we met. Oh, that's perfect. Because, wait a minute. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> he looks around. <laughs> 